this week on Way of the Master. We're gonna go back to 2001 to a little church in Nottingham, England, where we find you, Ray, uh, doing a little bit of a kind of a slapstick type thing in front of a church. It was a, it was a conference. Yeah, it was a conference, yeah. uh, mocking the theory of evolution. You used the Coke can and you used a banana. Nobody knows what caused the Big Bang, it just happened. And from the Big Bang issue, this huge rock. And on top of the rock was found a sweet, bubbly substance. <laughs> and over millions of years, aluminum crept up the side and formed itself into a can, a lid, and then a tap. And then millions of years later, red paint, white paint, just a little bit of green paint, fell from the sky and formed itself in the words Coca-Cola. 12 fluid ounces. <laughs> Do not litter. Say, man, what are you doing? You're insulting my intellect. And so I am. You know, if the Coca-Cola can is made, there must be a maker. If it's designed, there must be a designer. Behold, the atheist's nightmare. <laughs> Now, if you study a well-made banana, you'll find on the far side, there are three ridges. On the close side, two ridges. If you get your hand ready to grip a banana, you'll find on the far side, three grooves, close side, two grooves. The banana and the hand are perfectly made, one for the other. <laughs> you'll find the maker of the banana, Almighty God, has made it with a non-slip surface. <laughs> it has outward indicators of inward contents, green, too early, yellow, just right, black, too late. Now, if you go to the top of the banana, you'll find the maker, as with the Coca-Cola can makers, has placed a tab at the top for ease of entry. <laughs> when you pull the tab, the contents don't squirt in your face. <laughs> you'll find the wrapper, which is biodegradable, has perforations, like your pad paper. It usually has four perforations. Notice how gracefully it sits over the human hand. <laughs> Notice the point at top for ease of entry, just the right shape for the human mouth, Chewy, palatable, good for you. And the maker has even curved it toward the face to make the whole process <laughs> so much easier. That's if you get it the right way around. In 2001, the actor Kirk Cameron heard one of my sermons, a teaching called Hell's Best Kept Secret, which resulted in us combining ministries. It was now 2003, and Kirk and I were about to film an episode on the subject of atheism for season one of our television program. When I told him I'd like to do the banana routine, he was concerned that atheists would mock me for it. My thought was that it was for Christian television and atheists wouldn't even get to see it. Yeah, I did. I used to be a devout atheist. And that sounds a little strange, but I was committed to my belief that God didn't exist. Despite his concern, he was very gracious, and we filmed it anyway. Hold this, Kirk. Behold, the atheist's nightmare. Now, if you go to the top of the banana, you'll find, as with the soda can makers, they placed a tab at the top, so God has placed a tab at the top. When you pull the tab, the contents don't squirt in your face. You'll find it was a bit flat without a live audience, but it was no big deal. We put it into our program and never gave it a second thought. Three years had passed. Things were humming until I was told that the banana parody was all over the internet. I couldn't understand why it would be, but I soon found out. Someone had captured it from our television program, removed the Coke can portion so that the parody didn't make sense. Then he said that the original banana wasn't that shape and that it had been genetically altered to fit the human hand. It even produced a motion graphic in an effort to convince people that it had nothing to do with God making it for mankind. The clip without the Coke can made me look really dumb, but it was just another bump in the road, or so I thought. The issue exploded when the world's most famous atheist, Professor Richard Dawkins, mockingly did the banana routine during a television interview. Beautifully designed, like it's um, it's um, uh, fits n neatly into the hand, right? Um, and um, it's got a tab at the top for ease of opening. <laughs> Um, so it doesn't squirt in your face. And then he, and then he um, says, um, uh, and it's exactly the right shape, but it's curved towards the face for ease of eating. <laughs> um, and it's color-coded um, 
green too early, black too late, yellow just... <laughs> and while addressing university students. Ray Comfort is a New Zealander living in, uh, living in the United States somewhere. Um, you may know him as the banana man. <laughs> if you study a well-mind banana, you'll find that it, it perfectly fits the human hand. Uh, as a tab at the top for ease of opening. <laughs> Kirk's wise words of warning Ray came Comfort, back to haunt me. It's kind of unfair of me because Ray Comfort is probably the very bottom of the creation's barrel. He's the worst of the bunch. You study a well-made banana, you'll notice. You got Richard Dawkins doing a New Zealand accent. Yes. Right? I mean, that, that's got to be the pinnacle. TV and streaming listings available at wayofthemaster.com.